this is the apron that Melanie got me for my birthday. So I'm wearing it. I did forget to put it on, I'll be honest. <laughs> it's because I'm not used to wearing them. So the more you remind me at the beginning of the broadcast, then the easier and the more likely I will remember to wear it. So oh, should we also put on should we put on the chef's hat tonight? What do we think? The, this is the chef's hat, look. Here we go. So, <laughs> can't get it on. The thing is, right, I'm streaming directly from outside. So there's my neighbours who are looking through and they probably can see the hat first. But then you see the camera and they're thinking, what on earth are you doing? So, um, so welcome to my broadcast. My name's Aidan. If I'm, li I'm live streaming on Twitter, I'm streaming on to Haps. Haps is the platform I'm using. It allows me to broadcast on to different channels, so on my social media at once. So if you are a broadcaster watching me, I would like to broadcast or maybe do cooking or anything else, um, then come on to HAPS, H-A-P-P-S dot TV. Make sure you follow me, Aiden Leeds, and you can search for all my other broadcasts and videos on there, okay? So <laughs> it's really weird looking at myself with this big hat on. Um, so tonight we're doing this one. This is what I like to do, like... Um, like hello fresh boxes and things like that so um what i've been doing is the recipes that i have cooked before i'm trying not to repeat them too much um but i'm doing them a second time by buying the ingredients separately so this is a dish that i have done before on hello fresh where they send you all the food in the box if you want a discount discounts links are on my link tree on the profile and you can get 20 pounds off sorry 20 Let's, let's get that right. Twenty. It's twenty. It was twenty pounds off uh, to make nine pounds ninety nine per box, for three meals for two. If you've never had it before, that's for UK. But they're doing free delivery at the moment, so you, you'll get it. You'll get another three ninety nine off, I think. And then I think the the month afterwards, you get like ten pounds off. It's it's all in the details. Just make sure you check it out. Um, if you're in the US, it's forty dollars off. Okay, so there's a link for the US. Just make sure you click on the correct one. You know that's the correct flag on. It is really tight on my head. I can feel the. Uh, you know when you you know when you put a hat on or something or whatever, or, uh, you put a, uh, something really tight and you feel the throbbing, don't you? It was literally going through my brain then. So I will wear it, Caroline. It's not that it's tight. It's just I put it on too tight. So if you don't, if you didn't see it, that's got my name on there, Chef Aiden. So I'm just gonna put that to one side, okay? Because it's bit. It's 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 horrible weather outside. It's raining really heavy rain and um it's still, still quite warm in here i've put the oven on so let's get started then um so what you're going to need for this then is you're going to need some chicken now this is room temperature chicken chicken breast so this is going to be going into the oven so this is going to be quite a long broadcast so uh, normally i would pan fry the chicken and then maybe do the toppings after, you know the the things that i'm going to put on the top um so we're not going to do that we're going to make sure it goes straight into the oven, okay? So you're going to need some potatoes because we're going to be doing a mash. So I'm going to use these ones. If you watched me yesterday, I did um, some wedges yesterday using these potatoes. And they cooked really well. So these are white British potatoes. So let's get these out. Now I'm a bit, dehyd a bit dehydrated today. I don't know about you, but... So I've had two coffees. Um, I had one this morning. I wasn't live. Because I was on Heckle, I did a Heckle broadcast uh, doing my breakfast this morning. And then I had another coffee this afternoon about three o'clock. Um, so that was from my Lavazza machine. If you would like to buy a coffee or donate a coffee, then the, again, there's a link in the bio. You don't have to. But there are people there. The reason I have that is so because there are people that always ask me, where can I donate or where can I buy you a coffee or something like that. So that's the reason I have buy me a coffee. But you can also send awards on HAPS. So um, you can buy awards, you can sponsor. There's a message on the screen that I put up if you want to, uh, you know, send awards and things like that. That's up to you. So um, now you probably notice, you don't, don't think you'll see the view account. I see the view account. My viewing count is quite high today, and that's because I did a pre-event. So, uh, oh, someone is telling me, oh, let me just read the messages. So, hey, Mike, good to see you. What do you think to the connection? Happy? I think we're happy now, aren't we? There's still a lot of people, though, that, probably tuned into my early broadcasts because the kind of connection was going down wasn't it and it was getting very blurry where I could have the, the camera 
because I couldn't have it anywhere else because you couldn't physically do it in here. Um, the people that have not retuned back in and watched me live, so it's a completely different experience now. So you'll you actually see me in really HD quality. So, <laughs> so how are you, Mike? Today you well? How's your day gone? It, oh, well, not your day's gone. It's because it's still early, isn't it? It's twenty five to nine there, is it? <laughs> so you're just waking up. So I guess when I was wake when I was waking up, you were going to bed. You were going to sleep. So we're doing this one, Herbie Chicken. This is what it's going to look like. So, so we're just going to get the ingredients out. So we've got potato. We need a red onion. I should have got all this out before I started, but never mind. So I'm just going to get a red onion. Grab that out. Now this apparently takes um, takes 50 minutes apparently to cook this dish. <laughs> right, we need some garlic. So we used the garlic yesterday. We've got some fresh garlic here. So fresh garlic. So we're going to put some fresh garlic in here. Thank you so much. Sorry, I should, Mike. I should have said thank you for the award. I do appreciate that. Because um, I, I saw your name pop up and I didn't thank you. So thank you for the award, Mike. Thank you so much. Um, okay, we're going to need some green beans. I've got some green beans in the fridge somewhere. Let me try and find them. Now I've got two lots. Oh no, I've got two lots of it. I've got. I'm going to use these ones. These green beans. Okay. And what else do we need? We need some flat leaves parsley. Right. So I've actually got some. Homegrown parsley here, homegrown fresh parsley. So uh, this is through Sky, Sky. So I don't know if you get Sky News over there. You can watch it on YouTube, Sky News, but it's the Sky broadband. Um, and it's they have three levels. They have super fast, then they have ultra, and they have ultra HD. So this is the lowest that they do, but it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Anyway, so we've got fresh parsley that we're going to use up. So a little tip for you, whenever you're doing any herbs, especially if you live in England, don't ever take the whole leaves off your plant because you will kill your plant. So make sure you always leave at least one or two or three leaves on there. And that just gives the, you're not, you're not then saying to the plant, you know, it's like cutting off your arms and your legs. <laughs> you can't look. Keep at least one arm on there so you can at least do, you know, at least it knows it's still alive or like removing all your organs. Now, that should be interesting, perhaps Saturday. <laughs> I've got some really good things planned for our hap Saturday, but whether they materialise is another thing. So, um, right, so what else do we need? We need some panko breadcrumbs. So, panko breadcrumbs. Should really, really get all this organised before I come live, shouldn't I? So we've got panko breadcrumbs. If you don't, if you don't want to buy them from a supermarket, you can do this yourself by taking breadcrumbs, you know, yourself, either letting them dry out or put them in a in an oven for a few minutes, um, and then they will toast up. But I still like panko breadcrumbs. Well, they're not panko, it's just normal breadcrumbs. I'm surprised they're actually managed to be all right in that jar. But, uh, and then we're going to need some herbs. So I've got some mixed herbs. Some mixed herbs here. So Italian mixed herbs. Hi, Melanie, how are you? Me and Melanie, we had a good conversation this afternoon, didn't we? We were sending each other videos and things. Uh, and then you need your chicken breast. We also need some mayonnaise. So let's get the mayonnaise out. Wherever I put the mayonnaise, here it is. So I'm going to use light mayonnaise. And this will be to cover the chicken, I believe. And then finally, we're going to need some balsamic vinegar. Have you noticed what I'm wearing, Melanie? Look. Notice what I'm wearing? <laughs> uh, we've got some balsamic vinegar here as well. So I'm just going to shake that up. I'm not a lover of it, but we're going to use it. Okay, so first step then, we're going to preheat the oven, which I've done, put a large saucepan of water on to boil. So it will be for the potatoes. So we're going to, actually what I'll do is just leave it on the hob. I'm going to boil some hot water. Get it boiling. Okay. Don't know who that was. Somebody running outside. You want to see the weather outside? Look at the weather outside. Are you ready? It is absolutely 
chucking it down, as we say over in these parts. So yeah, it's raining, it's heavy rain, awful weather. Okay, back to me. Um, so yeah, we're going to preheat the oven, put a large saucepan of water onto the boil with half a te teaspoon of salt. So then we're going to chop the potatoes into two centimetre chunks. So let's start by doing the potato. But you can all see this okay? Oh, you can't see it. You can't see it, can you? There we go. Let's bring you down just a bit. You won't see my face, I'm afraid. But let's uh, chop these potatoes up. The thing with HelloFresh is they have loads of uh, recipes that involve potatoes. <laughs> it's awful, Mike. Absolutely awful. We've not really had much of a summer. So... I'm just going to chop these up, pop them into the saucepan, just like that. Easy mashed potato. So, as I say, this is a HelloFresh recipe, but the ingredients were all bought separately. But what I might do in the next couple of months, possibly, I, I love HelloFresh, don't get me wrong, but some of the recipes, you can just get them online and make them yourself. So. But what I might do is it's, it's, it's great for trying new recipes and getting the recipe card. That's the only thing you can't do is print off the recipe unless you uh, kind of put it together yourself. So I'm just chopping these up, keeping the skins on. And I find that the skins gives a lot of flavour to the food. Don't get rid of the skins, as long as they're clean, obviously, and being mushed. So chop all this up. brings me back to the days when I just used to do them roast dinners, do you remember? Chopping up potatoes and... If there's any recipes you want me to do for the next coming, coming couple of weeks, I'll tell you what we will be learning how to make. Have you ever had duffinoirs before? Duffinoirs. Okay, so there's the potatoes everyone. We're gonna pop them onto, well, put them onto boil. So put hot water in. Fill this up. There we go. I'm going to add the salt. Put some salt in here. She has been on, yeah, she was just on a moment ago. So please get your orders in, guys. You know, if you if, if there's something you're wanting to try, like the taste buds or anything, anything that you've been wanting for a long time, I know it's a bit difficult sometimes if we don't have the, the income for it or the money for it. But, you know, it, there might be something you've been wanting or to give somebody a gift for Christmas, maybe. I don't know. Um, you know, now's the time to order. So, right, so I'm going to pop this on. I'm going to pop this on the hob. And this is going to boil for about, let's have a look, um, 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, it also says here, chop the potatoes, yeah. By half peeling thinly slice the red onion, trim the green beans, peel away the garlic, pop the potato into boiling water, simple. 15 to 20 minutes, yeah. So we just need to do the red onion now and get that prepared. So any guesses what I'm about to use? <laughs> Can you all guess what I'm about to use? Let's put this on the top as well so it cooks the potatoes a lot quicker. So we're just going to take the, chop the ends off. Put this in half. Feel the skins. I don't know what that noise was then. It was the fridge making a funny noise. So peel the skins off, not too much. So anyone got any ideas what they're doing for Halloween? Perhaps Saturday. Well, it doesn't have to be Halloween. It can be harvest. But is there anything that you were wanting to do? Anything that you want, any, any ideas? So what I'm going to do is just get my dicer, if I can find it. I still love this tool, it's so brilliant. Let's grab my... Where did the other two go? Didn't use it, on its side. It has gone cold, it's horrible, Melanie. Horrible. Now I'm just wondering whether to do the... 
onions need to be in strips, I think. Yes, yeah, so if they do it into strips, so I'll just turn that round. Slot this on. Now I'm going to cut this in half, just make it a little bit smaller. And that way, when it dices it, it cuts right through. So I should really leave these out. They make it more, it makes it a little bit more tougher when they've been in the fridge. So I've got to be so careful with. Now it's funny this time because all my neighbours seem to come home at this time of the day. So it's like they're going to look up at the window at one point and see me either with the chef's hat on or the uh, the camera pointing at them. But it's not pointing at them. But I'm sure they'll think that at some point. Right, so I'm going to pop this into a bowl. I really should put the chicken on, shouldn't I? Get the, I should have done the chicken first. So we're going to take our onions, just like that. Probably think I'm some famous celebrity or something. So we've got our diced onions there. This is what we're going to do for the mash. I'm going to go into the mash. Okay, get rid of the skins, because we don't like the, want the skins. Um, blow the neighbours, they shouldn't be nose exactly, <laughs> exactly. Right, so that is the onions. So the next thing we're going to do is trim the green beans. We can do that in a second. Right, so chop the parsley stalks and put half the parsley in a small bowl and mix in the panko breadcrumbs. So I need to chop the parsley. So let me grab some scissors. This is the beauty of doing your own herbs and things, growing your own spices and things, if you can. I've got my scissors now. Oh, there they are. So I will take it from my big plant, actually. I've got a bigger plant here, look. I'm going to take it from this one. One second. But remember, don't take... Well, it says stalks as well, but as long as you leave some of the parsley on, I can get it from the other one as well. Who loves fresh parsley? I love fresh parsley. Fresh herbs. And you save so much money as well. Like, you might go to a supermarket and it'll cost you, I don't know, a pound, two pounds, just for like some herbs. Crazy. So, I've got low, look at that, look at all that parsley, look. So I'm gonna chop this up. So remember to leave a few leaves on on your plants so that it gives a chance to grow back. Right, that's, I'm happy with that I think. Yeah I'm happy with that. I've also got some coriander growing as well. Oh sorry not coriander, basil. Right so let's chop this up. Now a little tip for you when you're doing parsley or any herbs use one of these. They only seem to get used for one occasion I can find it. There it is. A pizza cutter. So dice all your parsley up. And it will then cut up and bring out all that flavour. What do you think guys, look, can you see that, what do we think, it is crazy isn't it, <laughs> it's crazy Mike, Melanie what do you think to the petrol scenario, you know with all the petrol prices, well, it's not the petrol prices, it's, it's people going to the petrol station and filling up with thinking that there's a shortage, but there's no petrol shortage, so We're just dicing it up. Really good tip. Use a pizza cutter. Stalks as well. Oh, if you don't want that bit. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you know Mike about it all. There's a there's a shortage of HGV drivers. 
which means that there is uh, problems getting petrol to the, to the petrol stations. So people are going out, rushing out, buying it, because some of them have been closing. And I think that's been the problem as well, is the fact that the, maybe the local petrol garage station has closed, so that they're going up to other ones and stocking up. <laughs> yeah, it's not a shortage of petrol. It's not the. It's not. A, it's not a shortage of petrol. It's a shortage of drivers. But the way they're acting, it, they make it out like they are have a shortage. So we're going to take our parsley. Okay, we're going to pop this into. This is what we're going to use for the chicken. Make sure you get it all because there are a few stalks in there. Actually, just take the ones out that you don't need. Surprised there's not a lot of people watching tonight. Please, if you can share this broadcast, please share out. Um, you can go onto Twitter and retweet, which would help me as well. Um, I've not got any hashtags on tonight, so. Okay, so we've got our parsley. Right, what we're going to do then is we're not going to add uh, half the parsley or half the parsley into a bowl. So I'll have to take some of this out. <laughs> One second. Oh dear. I don't have a lot of space, you know, you know what I'm like. I'm just going to take some of this out. We don't need all of it. Come back to the other. Yeah, there's a few stalks. Just get rid of the stalks. Just want the leaves. You don't want that on your chicken. Okay, and then we're going to add um, in the panko breadcrumbs. So the panko breadcrumbs, you need 10 grams. 10 grams, so how much have I got here, 110 grams, so I'm going to guess, I'm going to add a tablespoon I think, so one tablespoon I'm going to add in here, well, actually let's add a little bit more, because I think last time I did this, I like my, I like it to be quite crispy, okay, plenty of lorries on the road but here it's just a shortage of drivers, exactly, yeah, exactly. Um, okay, next step then, we're going to add in some mixed herbs, so add in some mixed herbs, just like that. So can you see what we're doing here? We've got parsley, mixed herbs and uh, breadcrumbs or panko breadcrumbs. And then we're going to add some olive oil. The olive oil you need is one tablespoon of olive oil. So one tablespoon of olive oil. I really should have put on the chicken first, shouldn't I? So one tablespoon of olive oil and in that goes. I might need a little bit more actually. And then what we're going to do is I'll add some salt. So a little bit of salt in there as well. And I guess we're mixing this up. Pop the chicken breast on a baking tray and season with salt and pepper using the back of the spoon, spread the mayo over top each and then sprinkle over the crumb mixture. So I'm going to mix all this in to create our crust, crumb, crumb, not crust. <laughs> I need a little bit more of that. So do you do Weight Watchers like Alex? I did at uh, Mike. I did, I did, I did at the beginning of the year, but that was because I had a free trial. So I learned how to manage my uh, calories. I knew what foods I was eating high in, high in calories compared to... Uh, you know, not knowing, and that was the problem. So I did it for three months, and then I've managed to maintain my weight, which is good. So I'm not put, I'm not eating. I know more about my diet, basically. Right. So I'm going to take a tray. This is very hot. Let me just take out a plate that I've got in here. I forgot to take him. Sorry about that. Let me just grab my. I'm going to grab some foil and put this on there. And then we're going to take our chicken. So I need two pieces of chicken. Although well, I'm going to be cooking three, so because I have an extra piece, and rather than it drying out completely, so I'm going to put each chicken on. Tray. 
five big pieces of chicken, chicken breast. My hands are clean, so I need to wash these in a second. So remember, I'm cooking three pieces here just because two of these will be the ones that have the mixture on the top. So a quick wash of the hands. Okay, let's add some salt and pepper on here. Now I've run out, I've run out of salt, uh, I've run out of pepper. So one of these is just going to have some herbs on, whilst the other's going to have panko breadcrumbs. Yeah, I'm out of pepper, so I couldn't find the other pepper that I needed. Um, so if you're adding pepper on, put pepper on. Okay, and uh, let me just put some mixed herbs on one of these. So just so it's, it doesn't, doesn't taste, taste bland. So using the back of the spoon, spread mayonnaise. So we're going to put mayonnaise on here. Can you all see this all right? The back of a teaspoon. I'm going to put some mayonnaise on here. Mayonnaise onto the chicken. So remember, this is raw chicken. So let me know if this is the way you would do yours. Now, I'm not going to put that spoon straight into the mayonnaise. I'm going to get another spoon because if you're doing that, you're putting raw chicken into the mayonnaise and you don't want to do that. So just let it drop and get the other spoon. I think I did this once last time with like a Mexican chicken burger. Do you remember the chicken burger I did? So cover it in mayonnaise. You can actually get vegan mayonnaise now. So it's not your favourite. Okay, and then what we're going to do next then is we're going to uh, spread the spread the crumb mixture on over the over the top. So I don't have, actually have a lot, but it's going to hopefully look really really nice. So we've got parsley, a parsley mixture. Actually, it's just enough, I think, for each one. And so like, this, this is kind of like what you get when you buy. You know you buy some ready meals and the chicken's already been done and they've got the mixture on the top. So it's just basically cutting out that step. I don't know what they use instead of mayonnaise. I know what Mike was <laughs> Okay, so that's that's how it looks. Get all that off. Pop that in there. Can you all see that everyone? Can you see that? So this is gonna go in the oven now for for about, um, it says roast chicken on the top shelf of your oven, got until golden for 25 to 30 minutes. Uh, and then it says, add a splash of oil in a frying pan, oh, that's for the onions. So 25 to 30 minutes, here it goes guys, top shelf. That smells gorgeous. So what I'm going to do now is try and tidy up. But we're going to take this, actually I'm going to take this off because I don't need this, I need a frying pan. Let me move that out of the way. Tell you what we will do whilst that's cooking. We're going to do the green beans. So, are these already chopped? No, no. Yeah, I need to chop these off. So we're going to get some green beans. Take the green beans, put them on the on the chopping board, and I just do it really quickly. Line them up, push them all to the edge, and then go down. Trying to slice my fingers off, and then just do the extra ones that are missing. No, not missing. Still have the ends. Right, so we get rid of these bits, and then what I'm going to do is try and tidy it up. Do I need to cut these any smaller? No, I don't. So we're going to get a frying pan. Let's get the onions on, and then I'll I'll bring you down in a second so you can see. Try 
and tidy up. It's no problem when you're cooking. Let's put this on. The right one, yep. Yeah. Give it a little bit of oil, just a tiny bit. While that heats up, let me just try and tidy up. So I'll try and read some questions. It looks like you have three chopping boards. I do have three chopping boards. And the reason I have that is so that if I'm doing meat, I do the meat first on the top, take that board off, move to the second one, and then if that gets dirty, then I go to the third one. <laughs> Plus it also gives me a bit of height, so I can actually, um, when I was you know, having it in this, this position and the signal was not that good, that was the only problem. So let's bring you down. Got this, I've just got this chicken thing to get rid of. Chicken chicken waste, I thought that potato was going to fall off then. Let's get rid of that. Not be a minute. Right, let's bring you down. Move this out of the way. Yeah, I've got all the ideas, Mike. I've got all the ideas. Let's lift this up. Really strange now that I can have you anywhere I want you. How's that? Is that good? I think that's a good position, don't you think? Let's put the light on as well so you can actually see what I'm doing. So the potatoes are cooking. So next thing we're going to do then is we're going to add the, add the oil, add oil to the frying pan and then add the onions. Cook until soft for seven to ten minutes. So in these go. Very, very easy. Let's get a wooden spoon. No problems with the kick with the signal, is there? And we're just gonna let these simmer, not simmer, just um, steam down, sweat down for about five to ten minutes. Okay. Stir in occasionally, then remove them from the pan and keep to one side. Don't wash the pan as we will use it later to cook the green beans. So really, really easy dish this. It's not too difficult. <clears throat> Just keep an eye on the timings for the chicken. So this is definitely on. It's taken a while to heat up. But you see how nicely chopped they are, they are from, from the dicer. That's what I like about it is that you put them in that position, whichever position you want it in, and as you push it through, it just creates perfectly shaped onions. Oops, that was some more in there. So is Melanie are you still there, Melanie? She might have gone back to sleep <laughs> because she was asleep about an hour ago. Well, she was going to sleep an hour ago, and I said, I'll be on at half past four. So maybe she didn't go to sleep, I'm not sure, but if you're watching on the replay, then that's fine. So, just taking a while to heat up that. It's definitely on. <laughs> so I'm just going to tidy up while, whilst that's cooking. If you've got any questions, do pop them in the chat. So as I do the dishes, and I know I need to put stuff away. So tomorrow, I'm going to be doing another dish tomorrow. I'm going to be, do, I don't really want to do chicken again tomorrow. So hmm, I might do an Indian style lamb curry tomorrow. It's a North Indian style lamb and lentil curry with turmeric rice and spinach. Are you there? Are you still here? <laughs> you were we very quiet, Melanie. Check on the mash. Oh yeah, that's looking really good. So yeah, it's quite an easy recipe. This, as I say, the technical thing is is the, doing the topping for the chicken. We're going to be doing the mash. 
So once the potatoes are cooked, strain in a colander and return to the pan off the heat. Add a knob of butter and a splash of milk. And then season with salt and pepper and stir in the cooked onions. So if you remember when I did the cheddar pancakes, this is a similar thing we did with the cheddar pancakes. Do you remember? We did the onions. I think they were white onions, not red onions. And we added it to the to the to the batter. Do you remember before we cooked it? And we cut the pancakes so there and we added cheese as well into them. Which I was gonna do this week actually, but so trying to wake up. Oh bless Melanie. <laughs> Have you had something to eat? Keep your energy levels up. So I'm just gonna let that sit because I do touch things too much. Got my garlic press ready for the garlic. The garlic is good. Actually, I think the garlic needed to go into the potatoes. I think. Let me just check. Oh no, the garlic. Garlic goes in the beans. Sorry, the garlic goes in with the beans, which we're going to do afterwards. Just going to get rid of that root. So, Mike, have you been watching anything on BBC iPlayer recently? Did you watch the programme that I told you to watch? What was it again? You asked me, you said, is there anything good to watch? Was it Hell on Channel 4? I think that was, uh, that was the programme. So yeah, these only take about seven to ten minutes. And then once the potatoes are cooked, drain in the colander. So we're just going to do the mashed potato and mix. Still got some of them pork ribs that Melanie left, you know, from last night. Oh, good. Um, not the best. I'm gonna get rid of that. So, what are you having for your tea, Melanie, tonight? Let me know in the chat what you're having for food, or maybe the last thing you've had to eat. really good signal or not you know for the internet now I still don't have a lot of space that's the only problem take long to, uh, to cook. So I'm just going to put a knife through. Yep, potatoes are done. So I'm going to put them through a colander. Turn that off. So here are the potatoes. Take them out. I'm going to pop them back into my see that very well in the background let me just lift it up oops so we've got the mashed potato what I'm gonna do is add some butter I'm gonna add some milk 
I made it quite runny last time, didn't I? So I don't think I'm going to add as much milk in this time. So we're going to get a tablespoon or half a tea's half a table half a tablespoon of butter. Just add a little bit more. Knob of butter. Gonna add some milk. Hey Jess, lovely to see you. We're gonna add some milk. A little, not too much. And then we're gonna add some salt. Oops. And we'll be adding these onions then into this. Into here. So add some salt. Uh, add some pepper if you've got any, I don't have any. And then we need to add the cooked onions in here as well. So I'm just going to give it a, just another minute. I can always just mix that in. Cow potato masher. You like angel wing onions? Ooh, I don't think I've ever had them, Jess. They sound nice. I'm just going to mix this up, mash this potato. Remember, these have got skins on as well. Actually, it's going to take a while for the chicken. So once this is done, I can just probably put it to one side, and then it will stay warm in here. So them onions, they're out. They, they're fine. Don't take long for the onions. So I'm going to turn that off. But keep keep the pan. We're going to be using the pan. So I'm going to add the onions into the mash because we need to do the green beans next. So put that back on. Turn it back on as well because I uh, just turned it off. Add a little bit of oil, just a little bit of oil. Okay, and then we're going to mash the onions in to the mash. This is our red onion mash. spoon whatever you want to use and just mix that onion into the mash and you can always add a little bit of more milk into it if it's too thick if you like runny mash just add milk or cream or yogurt it all works I might add a little bit more milk into this later so now that's cooked all I'm going to do is put a lid over it and then just put it to the side it's oh, oh my gosh it takes it smells so good Wild weather here in, oh dear, it'll be on its way across, it, it probably, I think they say it's going to get even worse, don't they, overnight. So let me put a lid over this. So that's the mashed potato done. There we go, I'm just going to put that to one side. Okay, and then what I'm going to do now is just, let me just spin you down, just a little bit. We're going to now add our green beans into this pan. them on there. So two minutes we're going to add the garlic. So we're going to add some garlic in here as well. This is what makes some garlicky greens. Oops, just need my thimble for my garlic. So we'll put the garlic in, push it through. The garlic to the pan. Get our second piece of garlic. Push it through. Add it to the pan. And I'm going to add a second. I'm going to add a third garlic because I really do like garlic. And usually, I just if I don't use it, it just stays on the side and I forget about it. And it just dries up and it goes all horrible and. But remember, garlic does burn quickly, so make sure you don't. Make sure it's not a hot, too hot of a pan. Now stir that in. Mm. 
Okay. Thanks, Jess. So next thing we're going to do, oh, it says here, add the water. So oh, we need some salt. Let's put salt on the on these. Some salt. We need to add some water to this. Let's put the water in. You want a 75 milliliters. 75 milliliters. So add the water in. I'm going to let that simmer. Um, so it says pop a lid on the pan or cover with foil. So I need a pan lid. See what I could use. So because I've, I've only got this lid, I'm just going to pop this on the top. Okay, and just let it simmer for a few minutes. This is what we're going to be doing with adding balsamic vinegar and olive oil. So put a lid on the pan, steam until it's just tender for three to five minutes, drain any leftover water, and then we stir through the balsamic vinegar. So we're going to add, and then some olive oil. It also says if you've got bacon lardons, before you start the beans, the green beans, heat a splash of oil in your frying pan on high heat and add the bacon lardons. So if you want bacon with this, if you, you can add that to it, okay? So, I'm just going to let these simmer up. Look at that, guys. Oh, yeah. I'm just letting a little bit of steam come through, because otherwise I don't want the pan to uh, sort of explode in my face. So, so I'm just going to give it two minutes, and then we'll empty the water, and then add the balsamic vinegar. So... Let me check on the chicken. Oh yeah, the chicken's looking nice. It's getting a nice crisp to it. Should have maybe added a little bit more olive oil to the chicken, I think. But I think it'll be all right. It's cooking away nicely. So potato mash, the mashed potato's done. Just gotta wait for this to uh, to cook. Just to simmer. So if anyone's got any questions, I should be on MasterChef. This part is quite technical, isn't it, when it comes to all this extra. But I just read, Mike, all I do is read off this. <laughs> That's all I do. I think it's a skill in itself to follow a recipe and be able to, like, broadcast at the same time. So, you, you know, all you're doing is seeing what I would normally be cooking. But I sometimes might say, oh, well, I'll try this recipe and we'll give this one a try. But you might learn, you, you might think of something that you see me do and think, oh, I could do that with something else. So, Melanie says to, I just said in, in, to Melanie, in Greece they do the same salad too named uh, Satsiki, Satsiki, but I don't know if I typed it well. I think I've heard of that, Jess. I think I've seen that in Turkey before. Right, let's just lift this up. Wow, let's mix this garlic here. Oh, it smells really nice. All it's doing is just making sure the the green beans are a bit more, a bit soft, so a bit more tender, and you've got all that flavour coming through them as well. So it, we're nearly finished. As I say, we've just got to do this, uh, do the beans. So I'm just going to give it another minute, then I'll empty the water. Okay. Just reading the guide. Drain in leftover water, stir through with the vinegar and the olive oil. Hmm. So one tablespoon of olive oil. I don't think I've got olive oil. Oh, it is olive oil, yeah. That's what I've been using. So another 60 seconds, everyone. Thank you for your patience. That's the only problem with cooking. I did say it was going to be a long broadcast tonight, didn't I? Yeah, Jess, it's really good to see you. So make sure you stay. I'm not sure how many accounts have you got, Jess, though, because <laughs> I think I've, I've followed you about four times. I can understand why. I can, I can understand why. 
You don't have to explain, but I think a lot of people don't understand from what you told me a while ago. So another 30, 60 seconds, and then we'll just drain the water off. Don't know where everybody is tonight. So if you can do, if you can all do me a favour, guys, just like the broadcast if you can do that. If you can retweet on Twitter, that would be great. Um, <laughs> they do, they do. Right, let's take this off. Ooh. I'm running out of space in this kitchen. I'm running out of space. That is so hot. I don't want to burn anything. Oh my darling. Right, so let's drain this off if I can. Try and keep all the flavour in here. Some people would say, don't drain it off because that's where all the flavour is. But as long as I keep some of the garlic. Okay, I can keep a little bit in there. So let's just put that back on. So I've emptied the water. So what I'm going to do now is add some balsamic vinegar. So some people don't like balsamic vinegar. So this is what I'm going to use. So let's add this in. So I want a sachet of it. There's lots of flavour in there. So this is on. Turn this up. And then we're going to add some olive oil, I think. So add some olive oil to this as well. So just, just like that. Oh wow, the smell coming off this. It's powerful. So I'm just going to leave it on the heat. Let's put the garlic in there, remember, balsamic vinegar and the olive oil. And then last thing we need to do is reheat the onion mash if necessary. Spoon a generous amount onto your plate, top it with the chicken and place some garlicky green beans alongside. Drizzle the balsamic dressing from the beans around the plate and then finish with a sprinkling of the parsley. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, you know, you can all see that. I'm going to just lift you up, put you back to where I had you before. Let me lift this up. Hello everybody, good to see you. Let me bring you down a minute. You want to see, it's weird because I can have you wherever I want you to have you now. So whilst that's just simmering away, let me just, the mash is, oh the mash is still hot. This was the onion mash we just made. You could always heat it up if you wanted to. So let's get some plates out and start to uh, start to serve. So let's get a spoon, another spoon. <laughs> now I'm not going to do it in any special way. So let's add the mash onion mash on here. Can you all see that? Oh, this looks really good. Got loads of here. So this is just a, another creative way of making food. So if you get a bit bored of mashed potatoes, just add some onions in there. So a little taste. Oh wow. Oh, that is so nice. That is really good. So here's our balsamic vinegar and garlic green beans. Let me check on the chicken. Oh, that's cooking really, really nice. Let me just turn this down a bit though. So let me just check the chicken. I need to put a knife through it. Just make sure it's all cooked through, which I'm certain it is. I'm going to show you the chicken there. It might need another ten, five or ten minutes actually. But it's got a nice crisp on the top. 
So if you're happy to wait just a little bit longer, I'll turn that down. So I've just got another few more minutes. I uh, add that's something I don't I don't own Mike. Old school is best when you put a knife through it and if you see it's pink in the middle then you don't eat it. And usually you know how long you to cook the chicken for. So mm. This is looking really nice. Got a strong taste to it. Strong smell. It's going right in the back of my throat. <laughs> oh, nice though. Got a good kick to it. Right. Let me just take that off because that's going to be too hot. Let's move that to one side. So we're just waiting for the chicken. So has anyone got any questions about this recipe? Let me just recap for you. So this is what we've made. It's herby chicken with red onion mash, garlicky beans. Okay, <laughs> vinegar's gone right up my throat. So what we did was we added 200, no, we added, um, we added hot boiling water to a pan with salt, chopped the potatoes, um, we then boiled them, then we, we sliced the red onion, we trimmed the green beans, peel and, gar peel and grate the garlic, and then we put the potato into boiling water, simmered for 15 to 20 minutes. We then prepped the chicken, so we put parsley, half the parsley, panko breadcrumbs, make Italian herbs, olive oil and salt. We put them on chicken breasts on a baking tray. We season with salt and pepper and then we use mayonnaise over the top of each chicken breast and put over the crumb mixture. Uh, we're cooking the chicken 25 to 30 minutes. So it's nearly done, five, 10 more minutes uh, until cooked. We then heated oil in a frying pan, added the onion, cooked and took for about seven to 10 minutes and then we added the onion into to make our mash. So we made the mash with milk, butter, potatoes, salt and pepper and the cooked onion. We've done the beans with garlic, salt, water, balsamic vinegar and olive oil. And then we're just about to serve. So that's how it should look. I was waiting for the chicken to cook, that's the final thing. So we're nearly ready, we're nearly ready. No problem with chicken is you've got to just make sure it's cooked properly. So let's put these on then. Let's put some of these on the plate. And the chicken should be ready to come out. So I'm going to take these beans, pop these on the plate. Oh, these are really looking nice. Look at these guys, look. This is restaurant quality. If you like balsamic vinegar, you're in for a treat with this, but if you don't then it is quite strong. So I've got a little bit of drizzle on there. I'm going to add a little bit to the to the plate. Just in with the It just gives it a little bit of flavor. If you like that or not. Okay, let's take the chicken out. So we're nearly ready. Turn the oven off. Oh yes. Yeah, this is looking really nice. We're going to take, it'll also cook for another five minutes when it's out of the oven. So we'll just make sure it is cooked properly. Yeah, that's looking good to me. Yeah, that's looking really nice. We're going to take each chicken piece. Oh. Try not to get the crumb mixture off, which has just happened. I'm going to grab a spoon and then we're going to pop that on the plate. Oh, that looks really nice. It's kind of similar to last night's recipe. And then that's the other spare piece of chicken that I have. So there we have it, everyone. Let me try and uh, take this off and show you. So let me switch the camera around. So there we have it, guys. This is the red onion mash. Uh, red, herby chicken with red onion mash and garlicky beans. I might just put that back in the oven for a bit more, a bit longer. So that's, let's just cut through. Oh, I need to take a picture. So let's just do the other one in a minute. This one's got, got, got a bit more sauce in. Remember, it will cook. 
a little bit longer. Should be fine. Yeah, look at that, guys. Oh, yes. That is perfect. So thanks for watching, guys. I should be back on tomorrow with another recipe. Hello, Fresh. So it's coming around the other side. We see the mess. So thank you so much for watching. I'll post a picture up, and I shall see you tomorrow. So thanks all for watching, guys. Thank you so much for the awards, and I'll see you next time. Take care. You're very welcome. Thank you.